All right, I just got down the street to Treasures on Main. I don't usually come here when I uh, come to Hummelstown because of the hours, they don't usually add up. But today I'm in luck. I just have to be super quick because I'm pretty sure I parked super illegally. <laughs> well, I'm clearly gonna start over here. <laughs> um, what? All right, the smoothie, 260. I need to stop. Dude, look at this decanter. 140 blank Blanco crack of glass. That's amazing. Oh my God. I am nuts right now. Oh my gosh, look at this one. The pedestal, that's a big one. 165, 21 inches. Oh my God. I'm gonna turn my camera off. Hey guys, I'm in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Uh, I had to turn my camera off at my last stop. I went to Treasures on Main in Hummelstown and my favorite vendor at Old Factory in Hummelstown has a huge section and I just got super overwhelmed and I parked illegally. So <laughs> I was in and out like a banshee, but man, I scored big. I'm hoping to score big again. I'm at Crossroads Antique Mall in Hershey. I haven't been here in forever. Let's go in and see what they got. All right, so you guys know I'm looking for the super unique and special. Um, that definitely qualifies at 125. I can't do anything with it, but look at that. 1890s ruffled monoton stump iridescent salt that is gorgeous the opalescence and the color on that is everything i'm also really into this murano fish um i like the millie eyes but that that is really where it's at for me it has amazing color i like the little tulip vase and the mini pottery right there a little pocket of uranium i did walk away with uh too bittersweet at the last stop man this is awesome i love this jar 65 on that it's got great shape to it and another pocket of uranium all kind of where it needs to be oh my god look at the fostoria heirloom mini swung in uranium and vaseline i should say that is amazing at 125 uh it's small but mighty trust me those prices are not wrong and check out the uranium glass mushrooms too how fantastic i like what's happening here um the trolls i like the celluloid uh baseball guy here it looks like a nodder no it's not so it is celluloid yeah and then here they have the owls but it's actually the nodder skull salt and pepper shakers that i'm most into now this one this looks like a chinese import but look at the bulaconte murano paperweight behind it that is gorgeous a lot going on here i think i'm going to start from the bottom i see this cat planter down here this is pretty fantastic oh my gosh how cute with the big eyes how much is that twenty dollars uh there's a little room in that not as much as i'd like lego japan the problem is um with a lot of the kitschy stuff it's gone down in prices so i have to think about my time and materials packing that as well i have definitely been sifting more into Victorian and antique. I've always liked it for myself, but I've kind of acquired a new appreciation for it for resale too. And I kind of feel like that's the, the direction it's going. Now look at this little Fenton heart-shaped box. That is so cute. $55, no discount. And this looks like Limoges. That's a, no, it's not. It's um, made in Japan, made to look like Limoges. I was going to say, usually the Limoges are really small some great stuff in here i love this uh lucite and metal box that's so great 25 dollars as is it does have some wear that's a great deal for someone who's okay with uh, a little bit of wear for me for resale i'm trying to uh keep the quality up oh my gosh this case of miniatures i remember this being epic please open carefully <laughs> okay <laughs> There's some really good ones in here. I think, again, I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. I love the miniatures. The cats are great. The ones that are jumping, they're like leaping cats. The see, no, hear, no um, monkeys. But in here, 
I see Little Red Riding Hood. She's got a little paint loss. $10, that's a good deal. Some really great little Bone China figurines. I haven't seen anything that I really, really need yet. What is this back here? That's different. Murano, that's neat. Looks like a snowman. And of course, I like the opalescent rose bowl. That's really pretty. Fountain, $26.50. This is pretty too. I love the iridescence. $30 on that one. What do we have here? Hmm. Purse pocket mirror, $5. Trying to get a better look at it. That looks like it's going to be contemporary. It's really fun, though. It almost had me fooled for a second, but it's plastic, not metal. That was the dead giveaway, but by the time I realized it, I was already dedicated to opening it. <laughs> um, behind me, this booth is pretty packed. I like this faceted one. Yeah, this is another one that's probably Chinese, but it is antique. A lot of the antique uh, Chinese ones have the facets like that, I've come to find. Some glass candy. Hmm. I was looking at this blue vase, but then I saw the cat planter. $30 on that. A little close for me. Napco wear. A really good one, though. And then over here, I love this beveled edge jewelry box. That one's at $65. This plastic looking cat is so fun. 49 on that. Briar cat. Interesting. I know they made the horses. I feel like I don't usually see the cats. Some great stuff in this booth. I remember it was a little close for me a lot of the times in prices, but it's been so long since I've been here. Now, this is amazing. Art glass basket. That's got some age to it. I normally stay away from glass baskets, but that one is actually pretty freaking epic. Um... I feel like if I took that home with a bigger black light, it might have a couple spots of uh, glow to it, maybe some cadmium in it. But either way, I think this is a pretty happy thing. It's pretty awesome. I love the colors on that. For 24, I think I am going to grab that. All right, well, I did pick up a little miniature Herb Thomas vase. They were coming by just as I spotted it so i grabbed it i did pay up for it a little at 38 for a miniature but it, i love herb thomas he's one of my favorites look at this pelican thing that's pretty great that's made in japan for three dollars and fifty cents i think i'm gonna go ahead and grab that now i gotta get my cost average down the little clay cat is fun also at three dollars and fifty cents i'll take that as well and then most of the paperweights are going to be import. Oh, the stone hippopotamus. What is this bird? That's really different. Huh. Little John ceramics. Interesting. Oh my gosh, look at this squirrel. Ashtray, that's so fun. 18 on that, though. Well, she just told me you might want to look in this case, too. And she's not wrong. Um, again, most of them are going to be Chinese. But that one's really cool. The Millefiore one. That one's 35. That one does look like Murano. But it's actually this that catches my eye. That is Fenton. Uh, topaz opalescent for $25 so I'm going to get a key for that is there anything else in here good grief what a day uh, quilted optic one of my favorite things to find $26 on that that is gorgeous um, I might pick that up I'm not sure if it's just because I like it or if it's um, there's actually enough room I'm very distracted by this paperweight I mean, uh, this uh, perfume bottle, China. It's an import, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I remember this piece from before, this insane Fratelli Toso. $3.25 on that. The thing is gorgeous. Um, this has always been one of my favorite booths to come to when I'm here. They have such great prices. A lot of pottery. And then this. This is the most interesting thing so far. 
the bag of Halloween. Well, that's a bargain at 12 bucks. Wow. I don't really mess with candles, but still, this is such a fun spice set. Kind of gives me like Empoli vibes, even though it's Japanese. And then over here, gosh, I don't even know where to start here. Uh, maybe with the little Fenton coin dots at $15 each. I think I'm going to go ahead and take those. Those are really pretty. What are these owls? They're probably new, but they're really fun. They are. And then I see the cat here. It looks like it's probably an import. And above me, the cupies. Oh my gosh, look at all the little cupies. But more importantly, there's an epic celluloid deer in here for $9. I have to get the key. I've never even seen it in light ver version. These are really hard to come by. That's a really pretty Murano one. That one's only 25 And then over here, all the Moonstone Fenton. This is weird. It's all paperweight. 100 plus years old. There you go. There's a whole bunch of information on that. I'm not sure. It's also... Some markings. It says 1970. Confusing. Um, what was I doing? Let's see. Pocket of Pink. This is an awesome flower frog. With the turtle. $15 on that. That's really fun. It's got a little wear on it. But as to be expected with the age... The Josef Originals. I don't really mess with those girls. This is neat. I don't really like Lennox, but I love that it's got a B on it. Now here, we definitely have something that's even more epic. Check out these Milano birds. Okay, one is repaired. I was going to say $75 for the pair. Even I would consider doing that. Glass eye apple paperweight. That's neat. That's a deal at 20 Ooh, I love this iridescent Fenton. 45 on that. I have a funeral vase in that color. I have uh, keep telling myself I'm going to sell it, but I'm having a hard time parting with it, quite frank. Some miniatures. Oh, the, the photo album back there is amazing. And then here, this looks like a little enamel over copper pill box for $2.50. I'll take that. What is this thing? That's weird. Made in Japan. I thought he was going to be a decanter almost. Now, here's a booth I usually get super lucky with. They have great prices. Look at the little crackle glasses. $6.50 each. And the Roseville Child's Dish. That's only $12. Oh, and Mickey Mouse Bakelite. Let's see, now we need this key too. All right, well, I got that. Now, what is this weird clay ram? It's a sheep really strange artist made kind of love this thing and then these redware japan black dog salt and pepper shakers those are really fun and they're 18 dollars though what is this bizarre little poodle brush how fun is that it looks like it's made of coal almost it's plastic 24 on that lots of other little trinkets i love the tin litho ducks those are so fun some compacts. That's not that. That's this. Pillbox, not compacts. Now, one of these things definitely stands out. Dude. That's amazing. $68. God, that's gorgeous. That is so so pretty. Oh, that is so tempting. It's got a couple little scratches on it. I think it's a little bit much for me to pay. Oh my gosh. But on another day, I might do it. Honestly, I've just done so much already. This is very cool. $18.50 on that. Oh, I'm going to keep going. It's hard to walk away from this, though. This looks... Honestly, the best thing ever. Really neat pottery vase here. Let's see. Bisey. Bissy? Really different. That's 
got a certain look to it for sure. I always enjoy coming to the $5 jewelry booth. Um, there was a bunch of people here when I was trying to look earlier. So before I head downstairs, I thought I'd give it a quick glance over. I've pulled out some really neat stuff from here. I have racked up quite the total so far uh, throughout this day. So <laughs> I'm really trying to keep it to the uber unique, but also like then there's like a weird glass caterpillar. <laughs> it's like, come on. It's so harder to find Christmas items in here. Definitely marked accordingly. Now this paperweight, that is really neat. I love how it's uh, got the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in there. And then the Royal Dalton cat. And then this check the canter set. It's like an egg. And then they have like the mini shot glasses and such inside. So neat. This is a super unique booth. I love this decanter. And yeah, usually when I see those, they're pretty beat up. But there's something over here. That is a show. There's two things, actually. Here's the first. Dude, this is amazing. So this is like a really hard to find uh, German squeak toy. And I think my last one sold for about 49. This one's a lamp. How cool is that? Oh, I don't need that. But then this, look at this German Violetta. Art Deco clock. I wonder if it works. This is pretty amazing. I don't want to overwind it. It seems to be locked up. Otherwise, if it was less, I would get it. That's good. Wait, no, it's ticking. Oh my god, that's so cool. If the clock had been less, I would have gotten them. Um, these are made in China, but I love this kind of cubist cat salt and pepper shaker set. And now I'm going over here because I'm curious. I don't think these are going to glow. No, they're not. The regular green depression glass looks very close to the uranium. Really interesting toy in here. Sandy, it's the dog from uh, Annie. From afar, it looked like it could be Bakelite, but it's wood. Crazy, crazy Morona bird. God, I can't imagine shipping that. And then back in here... I'm kind of eager to get a glimpse at some of these. That's a really pretty heart. 15 on that one. This is weird. Tripod clear glass paperweight. That's definitely different. And then this one. That's pretty. 38.50, but it's actually this Gibson glass. $45. Yeah, so when you see like collector's displays like this, um, like from the stores and stuff like that, the official vendors, if you see them cheap, you always grab them. That's a rule of thumb. Some really great uh, holiday candles here. Some more uranium. I'm really into these pieces. I don't usually see those, but it's actually this. The white moonstone vase for $30. That's very different. There's something about that I'm super into. Well, I got some really interesting stuff in there. I spent $162. That Murano paperweight was amazing, but uh, just too much to pay for something like that. And I'm gonna hit one more spot before I go home and I will see you guys there.